The Heart of Midlothian by Walter Scott Walter Scott Sir Walter Scott, Scottish historical novelist, poet and playwright was born on August 15, 1771 in Edinburgh. He became lame in a childhood bout of polio in 1773. Was sent to live with his grandparents in rural Scottish borders in 1773 to improve his lameness. He was taught to read by his aunt Jenny Scott. In 1779 he started studying at the Royal High School. Studied classics at University of Edinburgh and later became the writer to the Signet. Worked as an advocate, judge, and legal administrator. Died on September 21, 1832 in Abbotsford, Scotland. The Heart of Midlothian. Published on July 25, 1818 as the seventh of Scott's Waverley novels. Action takes place between September 1736 and May 1737, set in motion by the Porteous Riots. Expresses the working class girl obtaining a royal commutation of the death penalty of her sister. Summary Walter Scott starts the work by giving an introduction about the grass market in Edinburgh. There is gallows in the eastern end of the market and the people witness the hangings happened there. He indicates the society which is of social evils such as smugglings and contraband trade and filled with pirates. On September 7, 1736 announcement was made and preparation was going on for the execution. The accused robbed a huge sum of public money from the customs collector of Kirkcaldy who came to Pitinween. Andrew Wilson and Robertson were the accused and they were brought to the cathedral for the final service. Andrew Wilson escaped at that time and all people rejoiced. The magistrate appointed city guard Captain Porteous to look into the matter and find the escaped accused. Porteous, the son of a tailor served in the states of Holland and in 1715 moved to Edinburgh. He was the head of 120 soldiers and three companies under the chief commander was Lord Provost. However Porteous caught Wilson and the execution was carried out when the people became very violent. Captain Porteous ordered to fire on the violent mob in which one man dead and six or seven people slain and many got hurt. The magistrate on seeing the activity of Porteous, ordered and signed the death warrant of Porteous on September 8, 1736. On the day of execution many gathered there with huge hatred and were waiting to see nothing happening there. Suddenly a notice came from the state's office, Duke of Newcastle, Queen Caroline that the execution is postponed. People were disappointed and dispersed and discussions were going on among the people in the lawn market. Walter Scott indicates the mentality of the people and the discussions and assumptions they had during that time. Mrs. Howden, Peter Plum Damas, Miss Grisel Damahoy, Mr. Saddletree, Mr. Butler were discussing the things happened. Now the writer introduces the main character of the work who is in prison and others on their discussion stated the same. The central character Effie is accused of child murder and her stepsister Jeannie was told that if they are not moving to narrate the real situation of Effie, she will be hanged to death. Butler had a concern on her and tried to visit her in the prison. There was huge riots and the rioters moved to the Westport and Cowgate and moved to Tolbooth to assassin Porteous. Lord Provost ordered Colonel Moyle to control the riot but before that they broke open the gate of the Tolbooth prison. Butler was there who witnessed the riots and the people caught and took Porteous to be hanged and Butler was asked to perform the final rituals for him. While he was there in the prison when the gate was opened, many prisoners escaped and he heard the voice of a man calling Effie to escape. But she fainted and hesitated to escape from the prison as she thought that if she escaped she will be proved to be accused. After the murder of Porteous, Butler moved to the Salisbury Crags, the southeast city of Edinburgh. The writer indicates about the two families there, one is of Butler and the other the Deans. David Downs Deans had a daughter with his first wife and is named Jeannie Deans and had other daughter with his second wife Rebecca, named Euphemia who is called later as Effie. Reuben Butler and Jeannie as children were very close and they used to cling together until Butler moved to St. Andrews University to learn to be the clergyman. Jeannie was a lovable sister who cared a lot about her stepsister Effie who is very beautiful and attractive. Effie was later sent to Mrs. Sadvaltree, a distant relative of Dean's who owned a shop at Edinburgh. Mrs. Sadvaltree became sick and after caring her and when she recovered Effie asked permission to go to her home. 
After 17 months Effie returned to her home and soon the judiciary men came to look for Effie. She was accused of child murder and Deans and Jeannie were shocked of the news. On the other side after Butler moved from the rioter's place, he was asked by a stranger to inform Jeannie to meet him at the Hunter's Bay behind St. Anthony's Hill. Butler moved to the house of Deans after a long gap and conveyed the message to Jeannie. It is known that the stranger who asked to meet Jeannie is Robertson, who led the riots and he is the father of Effie's child. Jeannie planned to meet Robertson but was interrupted by the police and Robertson escaped from that place. Jeannie found Ratcliffe and with him she met Effie in prison. The writer indicates the love of Jeannie towards her sister Effie when after the trail she felt sad and lost hope too. Mrs. Sadvaltree told that she can request for the King's mercy on Effie and approached the King through Duke of Argyle. Jeannie planned to move to London and got money from Laird of Dummerdykes and started walking to London. Jeannie met Duke of Argyle and through him she met Queen Caroline and seeked the pardon for Effie. She asked for a banishment and not execution and finally Effie was freed. On the way to London she met Meg who played a crucial role in the life of Robertson for her daughter Madge Wildfriar. It is known that the original name of Robertson was Sir George Stuinton and he was a well-known person. He was admired by the beauty of Effie and they were in love and they had a kid. This baby was missing and Effie was accused for that, but the baby was taken away by gypsies. As Effie was freed she got married to Robertson and Butler and Jeannie too got married. Towards the end of the novel it is seen the two couples after marriage led a happy life until the lost son, the whistler who was raised as a criminal killed his own father Stanton or Robertson. After the murder of Robertson, Effie traveled to France to become a nun. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.